is. Look at this guy. Beeping. This guy and I have a very wordless but intense relationship just from looking at each other from the window across the street. His name is 1000% Jean-Francois. He lives with his wife. He's retired and spends his entire day people watching from his window. Sometimes his son or daughter comes to visit him and those are the best days of his life. We see him come up to the window holding his grandbaby and he has this huge glow on his face that we don't normally see. The only times when it's kind of annoying is sometimes I'd wake up in the morning and walk out into the living room naked and I look up and see freaking Jean-Francois staring into my living room. I don't know, sometimes maybe I'm grabbing water in the kitchen, which is just right there, and I know that he can still see me if I'm in the kitchen because that's how far into his apartment I can see also from here. Having lived in the US suburbs for most of my life, living on this kind of street is quite interesting. Not only do we have one, but two full body mirrors. So wow, it's really weird to finally be here not as a tourist but to be able to say that I have a job and an apartment. And it's also the first time in my life, well since I moved out of South Korea at 15, that I live in a city. So that's exciting, it gives me the illusion that I'm actually adulting. I've been waiting for you. Work is making me feel like I finally deserve to enjoy nice things. Deserve to actually relax after work and on weekends. Deserve to live in a cool city, etc. Like, I don't know, but I've always had this guilt and stress of being an old, late student. I turned 26 the week I started my first job, so yeah, I'm joining the working world kind of late to society standards. And in my early 20s, I beat myself up about it and felt like I'm losing a race. But strangely, the older I get, the more I'm at peace with it. It's actually the extra years of traveling and soul searching I did in my early 20s that led me to starting the work chapter of my life in Paris so I like my timeline and I like my experiences. Chinning to year 26. 27 actually. I already have a kid. Restaurants are back after like a year. It feels strange to sit in public and dine surrounded by all these people. In the whole year of my living in France, I had been to a restaurant once and then the country went into a lockdown two weeks after I arrived. One thing that kind of sucked about living in a smaller city in France was the lack of real Korean food, which is essential for me. So it's exciting to see all these pretty legit looking Korean restaurants out here as well as other international foods. Present us your work, please. This is a confiture d'oignon with the sucre de canne non raffiné bio exotic de la Réunion. Must mention that it took an hour. And a half. Good job, my love. Mm. Biking around is my favorite thing to do in Paris. I love doing it as a tourist and I love it even more now that I have my own bike. In the US, I don't think I ever biked. We mostly drive everywhere, so biking as transportation is not really a thing. But halfway through my year in Toulouse, I decided to get my own bike because I saw how practical and convenient it is and it really makes sense for the lifestyle in France and how the cities here are structured to own a bike and bike everywhere. I was kind of very much scared when I first started biking here because of these tiny streets and how close you have to be to cars, but now I'm used to it. The best thing about Paris, hmm. Well, it's definitely not these flashy images of famous places that you see plastered on Instagram and I don't know, movies, but okay, the moments I think to myself, wow, is like when I'm biking in these random neighborhoods and finding new streets, there's always new cool streets, or having a nice conversation just anywhere and then looking up to see how beautiful everything is around and realizing how lucky I am. <laughs> and actually, all I have are flashy images of famous things too, but it's because in the moments when I'm actually awed by the city, I don't even think to pull out my camera. I don't think I could even capture the exact vibe if I tried, it's just in the air. Really? You didn't know the song until I mentioned it avril en vain me vous à l'amour J'avais envie de voir en vous cet amour Ne vous déplaise en
dansant la javanaise.